What's up Team Buckhouse? Jonathan Buckhouse here and today I answer one of my most common asked questions. How do I move to Ski Town? How do I work for a ski resort? How do I move to Summit County, Colorado, which is where I live? Breck, Keystone, Copper, all those resorts are in this area. So in this video, I'm gonna help you guys figure out what is gonna work best for you for moving to a mountain town. up in Summit County, Colorado for 12 years now. I've seen so many people move up here, leave here, as well as I also moved up here when I was 19 years old. So I have a lot of tricks, tips, and things to think about before you move to a ski town. So let's jump into it. you guys you want the easiest way to move up here i want to move to a ski town all right i got the easiest one for you work for a ski resort i worked for breckenridge it was how i moved up to the mountain and it's easiest because they're going to give you lodging they're going to give you a free season pass you're going to have hours so it's like okay cool boom i did one application i got everything i needed i was good to go but I want you to think about a couple things before you work for a ski resort. Thing number one, you work when the resort is open. So yes, there are some jobs like instructing, ski patrol that allow you to snowboard, snowboard or ski while you're working, but it's not, you're not riding for yourself. You're riding for other people. You're riding for a job. It's different than free riding, going and ripping pow, doing whatever you want. And the majority of people, when they first move to the mountain, they gotta work entry level jobs like lifty, ticket scanning, food court so you're not actually getting to snowboard you're working and then when you finally are done working you're too tired to go ski and snowboard so you ride less the other thing is if you work for the mountain and they give you your season pass you can't quit the job or you lose your season pass and then they stop selling season passes like th almost through the beginning of the season so then you can't get a new pass if you lose that job or you got to quit the job and then it's same thing for your housing if you have your pass your housing your insurance all of that through like Vail Resorts and then you get fired or you're like, I got a better opportunity presents itself and you wanna leave, well then you lost all of that. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. It could be a little sketchy or do it and just don't get fired or lose your job or quit or whatever and you'll be fine. With that being said, you're probably like, well, if I can't work for the mountain, you say don't work for the mountain, where should I work? And I personally think the surrounding jobs around a ski resort are better places to work than the actual ski resort. The reason for that is they normally pay more. They also can offer a season pass and sometimes they offer rent assistance. So when you're applying for these jobs around the ski resort, ask them the hard questions. Do I get a free season pass if I work this job? Do you guys offer a rent like bonus? Like some places do like $200 extra a month just for you can pay rent with or 500 to help supplement that very expensive rent you're gonna get when you move to the mountains. And that segues into the next topic is housing. Housing is one of the hardest things to do right now in Summit County. We're in a housing crisis. There's just not enough housing for the workforce that we need. So a place comes up and it's very expensive and it still gets taken off the market because it's really hard to find a place to rent up here. Things that will help you get that place is you need first, last, and a deposit. So you're usually looking at a couple thousand dollars to move up here just to get the place. So have that in mind when you're saving up, getting ready to move to the mountain. The other thing that's gonna help you get a place to live is don't bring your dog. It's Colorado, it has this weird outside vibe of like Colorado loves dogs, but honestly, Colorado hates dogs. You can no longer have your dogs off of leashes like literally anywhere in a mountain town, but I'm, that's just like a personal thing. But also no one wants to rent to someone that has dogs, it, it's just, a new thing, it's just how it is. Like no one wants your dog in Colorado, at least to rent to you if you have a dog. So if you can leave your dog with your parents or like you don't have a dog, or you're thinking about getting a dog, wait till you get here, wait till you get that spot, then get your dog because it's gonna be really tricky if you try to move out here with a dog. Another thing that will help with moving out here is move with a friend, a girlfriend. Girlfriends are a little tough because it's really stressful. So like be ready for that. If you're moving out here with your significant other, your relationship will be tested. Uh, Cause it's, I, my experience is that when you first move out to a mountain town and you make a big move, especially to an expensive area, money gets tight and that makes a lot, puts a lot of stress on your relationship. But if you move out with a friend or a girlfriend, whatever, uh, try to share a room. Sometimes you can rent a single room for a certain amount of money. Dude, I lived and shared a bedroom, a single bedroom with another dude for three years when I first like moved out here, like dorm style, like twin bed here, twin bed there. And the biggest thing is these tips, the things I'm gonna be giving you are for people who want to ski and snowboard. Like every day they're out here for the passion. It's not to 
do you want to move to the mountains and try and find girls and, and party and do drugs? Like, like that's not who this advice is for. This is for someone that's like dedicated, serious. Like you want to get better at skiing and snowboarding. You want to snowboard. That's why you're here. These are the tips for you. And so yeah, share a room if you can. That will save you a ton on rent. Now, another thing that's very common and you're seeing it a lot more, but trust me, like the winters in Colorado are so cold. And this is like any mountain town because it's got snow. Van life. A lot of people are van lifing. It's uh, a, a very popular nowadays. There are a lot of places that you can camp for free, which is super awesome. And like our recreation center has like $5 showers. So like there are a lot of things around that can support the van lifestyle. Just know it's very, very cold. So make sure you do like double insulation or you get those heaters in properly. Um, I've never done the van life, I do the camper life, but even our camper gets pretty cold and we gotta crank the heat on a bunch. So just be aware of that because it is becoming more and more popular, those spots to camp are becoming either, they're filling up pretty quick or they're kicking people out a lot more often. So just be aware, van life is possible, it's cold, but it's sick. Another tip is September is one of the best months to move out here. Move out a couple months before the season starts. A lot of people try to move out in November, December. Like those are like peak, like get here time, especially like for the Vail Resorts employees and everything like that. When the mounds are starting to open up finally, they try to bring all their employees in. You know, like they don't need 100% work staff when the mound's not 100% open. So think about that. If you can afford or can get out here a little sooner, it's gonna be better. And that, once again, that's why it's working for the jobs around the ski resort are better because they'll take you in September or the ski resort's it's like, nope, I can only take you in December. That's when you're showing up for work. And then you miss a couple months of the season, at least in Colorado, because we open up in October and then you're missing November, December. Some people can't start work until January. It's, it's mind blowing. Now this is kind of a hack that is becoming a new option. It wasn't really an option in the past. Colorado Mountain College. It's the little college we have up here and in Leadville, which is a neighboring town to Summit County, but they also have a ski resort. They have lodging or dorms, you know? So go to school up here and then that, you can, you know what I'm saying? Like you go, you get to stay in the dorm now. And, and so that is an option. So go to school up in the mountains, go to the dorm. I think Colorado Mountain College and Breck is gonna be building some dorms soon. So look into that. I haven't checked it out too much, but I've been hearing some stuff about it. So yeah, like go to college up here and you can stay in a dorm up here, which is gonna help you move up here, you need to get the snowboard. Another tip too is like stay in a neighboring town to the resort. Like you don't have to live in Keystone. You can live in like Dillon, Silverthorne. You can even go as far as Kremling or Leadville or South Park and then drive 30, 40 minutes to the resort. That's not ideal, but it is an option. And you trust me, like as long as you're not driving on a 70, that's awesome. Because a 70 is gonna break down on you all the time. But to summarize all of this, the one thing I would say, if you want to move to a mountain town, and the only way to make it happen is you have to have to live in a snowboard town. What I mean by that is people don't get in life what they want, they only get in life what they have to have. I had to snowboard over 100 days a season. I had to live in the mountains. I have to do this, not only now that it's my job, but in the past, like I had to snowboard, it was my passion. So I did everything possible, shared a bedroom to make it happen. So is this something that you have to have, or is this something that you think might be fun? If it might be fun, it probably won't be fun because you're gonna be working so hard for this. But if it's something that you have to have, you have to live in the mountain towns, you gotta ski every single day, you gotta snowboard every single day, go for it. You are going to have to work very hard. You're gonna have some tough times. You might be very broke. I've never been so broke in my entire life. I remember going grocery shopping after paying rent, paying my car bill, whatever, after, after my getting my Vail Resorts paycheck and having $20 to go grocery shopping and having to spend $20 for two weeks worth of food. Trust me, you eat a lot of eggs, cheese, tortillas, chips, things that you can make multiple meals with. It gets tough out here. So work hard, have to have it, and you will have it. And by the way, living, working, being in a mountain town is incredible, but the tourists, dude, they don't go away. Now, 
every situation is different. There's also tons of opportunities. So let's have a conversation. Comment down below. What are you thinking? I will try to answer your guys' questions about moving to the mountain town, give you guys tips and things like that. So comment down below. Concerns, things. What do you think I got right? What do you think I got wrong? Add to the conversation down below in the comments, guys. Let's help people move to the mountains because we need workers to run these ski resorts and to run the places around. I've lived up here, once again, for 12 years and it's been understaffed forever. It's Since I can remember, we've been understaffed up here. So more people in the mountain town, the better. The more this whole environment's thriving, the more we get to ski and snowboard. That being said, it's expensive to live up here. And if you want to support the dream, snag an evolution sticker, support the dream. If, if you're a skier, we got the ski version of the evolution as well, as well as any of the, like the hats, you know, t-shirts, all the merch guys, it's all linked in the description. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram. Some people DM me there about moving, moving questions, everything like that. So check out my Instagram. And of course, if you're new, subscribe so you guys can see my videos about the mountain towns and I'm traveling to every resort in the United States. So maybe I'll go to like Bristol, New York and you're like, that's the coolest place ever. I have to move there. Or you're like, dude, Mount Hood in Oregon, like that's the spot. And you can see that through this channel. So because the other thing is you might not have to move to this mountain town up here in Colorado, it's very expensive when you can move to a smaller area next to a ski resort and get the same thing that you want, but it's so much cheaper and so much easier and like it just flowed better than trying to come to the mecca of skiing and snowboarding. But also subscribe to join the strongest snowboard community on the internet. And I truly believe that. Once again, check out the comments down below. And with all of that information, Team Up Cows, thank you so much for talking about snowboarding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no. Cliff. Oh. Oh.